Hello and welcome to my channel On The Hood Crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and let's find out what's on the hook. Um, I have a finished object. I also have a pattern release today and this is for the garden party tea. Now I will say a couple of things. I'm a little bit late getting this video out. I'm about a day or two past when I like to get them out once a week but I was delayed because the grass pollen and I did not get along this week and I had quite a reaction to it. So I am struggling a little bit to feel great, but I do feel pretty good. So uh, good news, I hope y'all are feeling well and everyone is in good shape. I hope that um, your, your week has been going well, that you've had some craft time. And I'm here to inspire you to add a little crochet to your wardrobe. I would like to do a video in the future and I would like to talk about how to add crochet to your wardrobe. And you know, you don't have to have the whole wardrobe in crochet, but to have a few pieces that you can add to your outfits that you put on every day and uh, hit the road, uh, go to work or take the kids to school or go to the grocery store or just work on uh, your computer all day or just take a day off. You can add crochet to your wardrobe and I'm here to inspire you to try something new. Most of you who have crocheted or know how to crochet have crocheted a, a granny square, something like this. Uh, this is this is pretty intricate here. This was from the calendar from last year. It's a crochet calendar. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, crochet in it. And I made this uh, along with a lot of other YouTubers. We were working on the crochet calendar. I did not finish mine, but some people did. And I thought that was really great. But this is one of the most beautiful granny squares I've seen in a long time. It is so, so beautiful. And if you're a crocheter, you might have tried something like that. You might have... Um, tried a regular granny square. I don't know. Um, but I have something to talk about granny squares in a little while later in the program. So stay tuned for that. And I also have a giveaway at the end of the show. So be sure that you stay uh, tuned for that. And if you have won something and haven't figured out that you won something, then I have another uh, giveaway that I'm going to talk about that someone has not claimed and that's just from last week so it's okay I just want to remind them to pick up their giveaway by uh, emailing me their address so I'll talk about that a little bit later but right now this particular video is about the garden party tea and this is the pattern that I have written for the garden party tea and Crystal has graciously uh, I agreed to model this for me because I had something else I wanted to model. So let me let me get Crystal over here and we'll look at it. Well, this is Crystal, my beautiful model, and she is modeling the garden party tea. I have finished it. It turned out really nice. I've tried it on, of course. Um, I wanted to show it on Crystal though because I had some detail I wanted to show you about it. But um, it's a it's a motif centered front, and the back is not does not have a motif but you can put one on here if you want and there are um, uh, options to do that in the pattern you don't have to do that but you certainly could to make it very very special I just wanted to put all the detail on the front so I created it with one motif on the front of the sweater and I outlined it in uh, a special stitch around the edge so that you can kind of see the motif don't know if you can see that on um, crystal here but it's outlined in a little bit of a special stitch so that it shows up on the front of the sweater. Now this is a basic pattern for a double crochet granny square. It's not a granny square, it's really a motif and that's what I call it because it's just a pattern of stitches in four different directions and I really love that. There's a center point right there and, and then you create panels around the motif to create the sweater and it, it really makes the sweater so special. Let me back Crystal up and you can see down here there's a panel that goes across here then on the side there's a panel that goes down this way and then in the back of course the stitches are going this way so um, I think it's very special. I really do like it. Um, you can also create it without sleeves. You can stop right here and just put edging on it if you want to. The bottom is an optional edging, but I do uh, suggest that you uh, do a couple rows around the bottom just to finish it off because you do have a side seam 
and a shoulder seam on each side. So that's how it's constructed. There are some decreases around the neck here, so uh, it's not difficult to do at all. I'll show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. And it makes a nice little neck edge there. It doesn't go way down, but you have certainly the option to do that. Take it down here to the motif. You can uh, bring the neckline all the way down here if you want to on mine. I was four rows up and decided that's where I wanted the neckline to start. So that's what I did there. And then I decreased up here, up to the top, up to the shoulder. So uh, this is my newest pattern called the Garden Party Tee. I love it. Of course, I love all my patterns because I spend a lot of time making them easy to make. This is, uh, a beginner could do this. Um, it's it's not the easiest pattern I've ever written, but it is an easy pattern. It is uh, maybe uh, an adventurous beginner. If you just want to try something new, you could certainly do that. Once you have the motif made, the rest of it is very, very easy. So the motif is the key, and if you can get that motif the way you want it, then the rest of the, the sweater is very easy to make. Now, I made this from Lion Brand Cotton Bamboo. That's what the the whoops that's what the yarn band looks like it is about half cotton and rayon from bamboo so it's uh, very very soft it's a soft yarn but i will warn you it is a little bit splitty and i made this with an eye hook so um, i didn't have a lot of trouble with it i it was a little bit splitty but it was worth it in the end because i can tell why the, these yarn is so soft and it is plied with four, four or five yarns together. And sometimes they get a little bit loose. That's what I can say about that. And the cotton bamboo is, is pretty easy to work with. It's 52 cotton, 48 rayon from bamboo. And I really like it. It's, it's soft. And it only took me three skeins to make this whole sweater. Three skeins. That's it in the cherry blossom color way. So, so beautiful. And on each skein is uh, 235 yards. Made with small uh, stitches, pretty small stitches. And um, it's made with an eye hook. Very, very easy to make. You could also uh, downsize your hook just a little bit and make the stitches a little bit closer to each other so that there's no, you can't see through here at all but um, you have to just experiment with that. I usually make a little swatch when I'm first starting and to see which hook I can use to make the fabric just the way I want it to be. So that's what I did with this and I really like what I came up with, but you might want to do something different. There are lots of size three yarns too. They don't have to be bamboo. They might be a little bit easier to work with or you could possibly make this out of a light worsted. You could do that. And your motif of course would have fewer rows on it but it would still be a motif in the middle. So um, I encourage you to try new things or go to your stash and just make a swatch and see how you would like it. Uh, you can start the motif and, and do this much of the motif in whatever yarn you um, have and you might like it. You might like it a lot. So uh, I suggest you do that if you're uh, concerned. A cotton bamboo though does work and I've already made it with that once so it you would be successful with that I'm sure. But again, that's the Garden Party Tea, and that will be on my Etsy shop on Saturday, which is tomorrow. Uh, I will send an email out, and uh, maybe tonight, but probably not. It'll probably be uh, tomorrow morning. Go look in your inbox, and if you're in the community, we will have a substantial offer code to use if you want to go and grab that from my Etsy shop. I also welcome you to join the community, and it's free to join. You can join... Um, anytime you want and the link is down in the description box you get a free pattern when you join and you also get the emails from me that show the new patterns that I have out and any other communication I want to make I don't jam up your email box don't worry about that I very rarely send out an email so you don't have to worry about every something coming in every day which I do have companies that do that and um, I decided I wasn't going to be that way. I didn't want to really send out that many emails. So be sure to join the community if you want to get that substantial discount. And it's also good on any pattern in my shop. I have a hundred patterns out there. And I have short sleeve sweaters, long sleeve sweaters, vests, um, 
sleeveless sweaters. I have all kinds of things out there. You can just peruse the shop, see what you like. But the garden party uh, tea will be out there probably by in the morning, and we'll get that out to you, and you can start working on one. Thank you, Crystal, for helping me model the beautiful garden party tea. Really like it. Again, it'll be out there um, in the morning, hopefully. Now, speaking of thank yous, I have a nice thank you note, and this is from Debbie Perea, and she is in Arizona. I would love uh, to get thank you notes. They're so sweet, and she writes about uh, winning a pattern, one of my patterns on Petra's Happy Place, and she... Um, designated me as the designer of the month Petra did last month and thank you so much Petra for doing that and she gave away some patterns that I had donated and Debbie won one so she sent me a thank you note saying thank you so much Debbie appreciate that beautiful card now for those of you who like to follow me I have a very short video on my update for my diamond painting that I'm working on right now here's the progress on my Jesus blessing diamond painting one to see to show you this, uh, this is the part that I have left, right? In there. And this week I did the hand, which had some confetti in it right in there, not too much. And I worked on these flowers, some a little bit, and I filled in the rest of this. There were some places there that I hadn't finished yet. So I have finished all the way to here, and what I have left is right in that semicircle there. So I'm excited. This is all I have left to do, and I should be finished hopefully by the next video that I put out. Of course, this is upside down uh, because I'm working on the top of it right now, but um, I turned it upside down so that I could reach it better. So anyway, just wanted to show you that. That is the progress on my new diamond painting. And this is from uh, Diamond Art Club. Again, uh, this is Jesus Blessing. And I'll put a link to it down in the description box if you're looking for this particular one. Someone asked me about that, so I will put the link down in the description box. That was a very, very, very short video, but I haven't done a whole lot this week. I've been a little under the weather, so I'm good to go. I'm starting back up, and hopefully I'll have that uh, diamond painting done fairly soon, in the next week, maybe. Hopefully I can do that if I don't get distracted by something else. Now, let's talk about what I have on today. I have on my brand new sunlit tea. Let me get this pattern out here for you if you can see it. It's out of my Etsy shop, of course. And this is my second go around with the sunlit tea. And uh, that's what it looks like. When I first made it, I made it with a huge amount of ease. It was a very boxy sweater and I liked it. I loved it because I made it with a, a very nice yarn and it was called Sheepjes. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Stonewash DK in the colorway Yellow Jasper. And it was so beautiful. I really enjoyed working with that. And I, I made it with an eye hook. Um, just trying to give you some history here. As you can see from this, it's a very large sweater. And it kind of swallowed me up actually. But you'd have to wear that with some um, leggings or something like that because it's really large. But this is the yarn that I chose this time to make it with and this is Kobu by Lion Brand and it is a cotton and rayon as well. This is a cotton 51 cotton 49 rayon 232 yards on the ball size 3 in the colorway olive and that's what I have on right now and I made it just like the pattern only I made a lot less ease. I only used uh, maybe four or five inches of ease. And let me show you how this looks. Well, today I'm modeling the Sunlit Tea, and this is in the olive color uh, Kobu yarn by Lion Brand. Really like it. It's very, very comfortable. Now, I'm, I'm modeling this with some tan dress pants. This is um, probably nice enough to go to a nice restaurant in. Um, I really uh, like wearing lighter colors in the summertime. So since I made the top in an olive color, I decided to wear it with the light color um, pants and then I'm wearing some little leopard flats with it. Um, they just seem to go. So I put these on this morning. I thought that's it. Now I am wearing a black tank top underneath this because when I'm filming my show, the light shines right in on my sweater and you can see through it and not really in the daytime or the daylight, but for my video, I really needed to wear a tank top underneath it. 
and you can choose to make it with a smaller hook than an eye, which is what I use to make this, and you can um, make the stitches closer together, and you can make it so that you don't have to wear a tank top underneath it. So that would make it a little bit easier to wear in the midsummer, but for right now, I'm very, very comfortable. Uh, a tank top is fine underneath this very, very light sweater. Now, this is the one that I made from the pattern the first time, and if you can see this, I'll pull it all the way out here, Look how large this is. This had probably 10 inches of ease in it. And the one that I made now is only uh, maybe four or five inches of ease. Uh, a totally different look, as you can see. Let me turn around and show you the back. This is a very um, much more fitted tee. It's not totally fitted. It has some ease in it and it's very comfortable. But this was huge. Look how big this is. <laughs> but that's okay. I made it that way the first time around. And the second time around, I decided I would make it a lot different. And so I uh, changed the fit and look at the difference in how it looks. It looks totally different. And you know, you might like this, you might like this, you might like something in between, but that's a way that you can make a different sweater in less ease and it just fits differently. The arms aren't quite as long. They're very long on this yellow sweater. Um, they come way down here. And that's a function of how big the front and back fabrics are. So when you put them together, the sleeve falls down here. But on this one, it's a little bit shorter. So I added some rows down here, just three rows of single crochet there, three rows around the neck, and uh, I added nothing at the bottom, but the bottom is ribbed. So just like the pattern here, it's ribbed. I made it right by the pattern pretty much, except for the sleeves. And on the yellow sweater, the sleeves are ribbed at the end and over here, I just did some single crochet rows on the edge. I just felt like that looked best. I hope you like it. Um, this is just another version of the Sunlit Tea. The Garden Party Tea was made with cotton bamboo, and I used three skeins of this. And I used three of these Kobu cakes to make this sweater. So about three, maybe seven or 800 yards is all it took to make this sweater and or the other sweater. So now this is what I had left of the third cake of Kobu that I used to make the sunlit tea. I had some left over, probably about maybe a third of the cake left over, maybe a quarter. So that's, that's where I was with the amount of yarn that I used. A few of you have asked about my Jeannie's Granny Throw. I have been working on this diligently and it takes a while to make a, a throw or an afghan. You can't just whip up a, a little shirt like this. It's totally different. There's lots to it. But I have almost finished this. I want to show it to you. This is the front right here. There is a right and a wrong side, so I will tell you that. And you probably know that if you make afghans. You, one side usually looks better than the other. So... This is what it looks like so far, and a little bit more of a close-up there. And there's a random end hanging down there, but this is what it looks like so far. And I made this with minis. It's all wool, all size 3 DK wool, and I'm putting the border on it right now. Let's see if you can see that. There's the border, and it's going to have some bobbles on it. And those will be optional. If you really don't want those on there, you certainly don't have to put them on there. But I think they look really cute with this particular pattern. So uh, this is what the pattern looks like. See if I can get it up there. I've shown this before. It's got a little flower right there. A flower in the middle. Right there. It's got a flower in the middle. And um, using the... Superwash Merino by Lion Brand for the border. So, uh, and I also use that around each each square. I use that particular yarn right around here to add a couple of rows to the pretty middle square. And now I'm making the border out of it as well. So it will be all matched up and it'll be really pretty. I'm really excited about this. And I will put the pattern out there so you can use it to make your own granny square throw and uh, I just think they're beautiful. I, I guess because I love the the real uh, wool uh, granny square. Now I do love a good acrylic 
granny square afghan because you can wash it and dry it. Um, this is not really, you can't really do that with this, but since it's super wash merino around the border, I'm sure you could, but the middle of it is just, um, just merino wool. It's not super wash, so I don't know if you can wash, I guess you could probably wash it very gently, but you can't just wash it and throw it in the dryer like you would anything else um, that's made from acrylic. You can't do that. So uh, you can make it out of any kind of yarn you want. And if, it were, if I were doing a quick one, I would probably grab some Red Heart Super Saver or something like that to make the centers with and then do the border in the same. If I just wanted a wash and dry afghan, I could probably do that. But anyway, that's coming out fairly soon. I just wanted to show you the progress I've made because I have been working on it as long as I'm working on this. I was working on the garden party tea and my diamond painting and I've got a lot of whips going on but I'm trying to finish them up. I finished this one, I finished the garden party and I'm working on the uh, little throw so I'll be finishing that as well. So the other projects I have on the hook are not as important to me and I might be putting them in timeout or giving them away as a frog and finish. And speaking of that, I have a frog and finish to give away for next week. But for this week, let's talk about giveaways. Now, first of all, I want to talk about this. This is the Chow Merino that I had six skeins of this uh, to give away. It's premier, very, very nice yarn. It's a chain, a chain yarn. We get that up there. You see that? The chain yarn, it may be hard to see that, but anyway, it looks like a really nice, it's so lightweight, it's so nice. And I had six of these to give away to Animal House Crocheting with Donna, and Donna, I haven't heard from you. If I have, then it's rolled into some other file, but I don't think I have. So if you don't mind, uh, email me at least um, your address, let me know where you live so I can send this over to you. If you decide you don't want it, you can let me know that. Or if you just never look at my videos again, then you probably won't know you want it. So um, in a couple weeks, I will um, I will re-give this away to someone else if you don't want it or can't, uh, or you haven't seen your name come up. Now for next week, I'm giving away a crochet magazine. This is untouched, very beautiful magazine. And uh, the key word here was fun, F-U-N. And if you used that word in your comment last time in my last video, my last regular video, not my Afghan video, I have one that I'm working on for Annie's um, beautiful Holiday Spice uh, Afghan that I'm working on. And I'm doing separate videos for that. So this goes from my very last video. I asked you to place a comment with the word fun if you were interested in this magazine. So we'll be giving that away first. Winner number one will receive the Crochet Magazine. And there's some beautiful patterns in here. Uh, I love these magazines. I get so many of them though. I try to give the most of them. I love away. this yarn. It's from Yarnspirations. And then I have a partial of another one. It's not tangled. It's it's just cinched up so that it won't get tangled. And that will go out to winner number two. The keyword there was cake. C-A-K-E. And then I have a special a special gift. This is Scarfy Light. This is an untouched, uh, beautiful ball of yarn. It is the softest yarn. And I made my silver spring shawl with that, and you can see it right there hanging up. <laughs> I have it hanging up right there. Um, you can make a, a, a full silver spring shawl with this and have some left over as well. This is a size four weight, Scarfy Light. And if you like Scarfy, this is what you want. Scarfy Light for the spring and summer. Some beautiful, beautiful yarn and the uh, color changes are very subtle and this really like that about this. And you'll also receive a pattern for the Silver Spring Chalette and um, I'll, I'll just send this off to you. It's printed off, you don't have to do anything, but get your crochet hook out and you will have it. So that goes to winner number three. And the keyword there was spring, S-P-R-I-N-G. The word was spring. So let's turn the camera to the computer and find out who wins these gifts this okay, week. Okay, here we are at the computer and there is the internet address right there for the video from last week. And the word was fun. And let's go down here and find out how many people signed up for this really neat magazine. I really like this magazine. 147. Okay, let's scroll over here and find out 
who wins the Crochet Magazine, and that would be Donna Roach. Donna Roach, you have won the Crochet Magazine, and I hope you enjoy that. And be sure to email me your address. So let's go back over here and type in the word spring. No, we're going to do the word cake first. Let's find out who wins the Karen cakes. So let's go down here and answer that with a looks like five. And let's find out how many people wanted the latte cake, and that was 179. So 179 people wanted the latte cake. So let's find out who wins the Karen latte cake and the partial cake. That would be Nora Igra. Nora Igra, you have won the Karen cake. So, so good. Thank you so much. Be sure to email me your address. So let's go back over here and put in a different keyword right here. And that would be <clears throat> the word spring. S P R. I -N -G. And the word spring will get us to the question, which is number seven, and find out how many people wanted that particular one. All right, let's go over here and find out who wins the Scarfy Light Yarn and the Pattern. And that would be Patricia Skates. Patricia Skates. And she signed up saying the word spring right there. So Patricia, send me your address and I will send this off to you. Congratulations to all our winners. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you for entering. I hope you win next time. Um, I have lots of giveaways. I have at least three or four every week. So be sure you come back and sign up for the giveaway. Now, next week, I'm going to give away a couple of balls of 100% Superwash Merino. And this is really nice yarn. I've used this for several projects now. really, really like it. Um, it's a three weight and they're 300 yards on a ball. So I'm giving away a black one and a gray one. And this one is actually called, uh, in case you want to order something to go with it, this is the colorway ice. This is the colorway ice. And this is black and beautiful together maybe a hat or a baby's um, sweater or something like that that's very sophisticated for a, for a young baby <laughs> I like those colors anyway those will go out to giveaway winner number one and the keyword there is ice 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 is the keyword for that i'm also giving away what i had left of my cotton bamboo and this is really nice yarn i made it it's in cherry blossom and i made the garden party tea from this and this is cotton bamboo from lion brand cotton and rayon i talked about it earlier in the show and there are two full skeins and one almost full skein of that so i'm sending that along this would make a beautiful baby sweater and a little hat to go with it or something really super soft really nice i like this and that will go to winner number two next week and that word is bamboo b-a-m-b-o-o B-A-M-B-O-O -O, to enter. You that, use that word in your comment and you will be in um, the running for this cotton bamboo yarn from Lion Brand. Okay, my third giveaway gift next week is a frog and finish. And this involves a really nice yarn. This is City Tweed DK Weight in the colorway Coastal. And I made a sweater from this. Um, the multicolor cardi, the number four <laughs> that I made, was with this particular yarn, and so nice. City, City Tweed, really nice yarn. And I have, uh, let's see, two, two and a, two and a half, two and another half. So about three more skeins of that left that you can order more if you want to. If you win this and you need some more, that's fine. But what I've done is uh, made a almost finished the front of a little sweater and there it is right there let me get this down here where you can see it it goes there and all you need to do is this piece right here and then make the back and i believe you can do it with that city tweed if not you can order a couple of little skeins from uh, knit picks or you can frog this out and have quite a bit of city tweed actually it's probably maybe two three skeins in here in this and i'll leave the um, stitch markers on here and what you use those for is to see the angle that I make the neck in and see exactly where I 
decrease. So I'm going to leave those in here for you, and then you do the other side to match it. You see what I mean? You do the other side to match it over here. You do the other side. And that's all you need to do to make the front part, and then you can make the back to match it. Very easy to do. This is no pattern. You just um, can do that, or you can, like I said, you can frog it out. So it's a frog or finish, and that will go to winner number three next week. And the keyword there is city, C-I-T-Y. The word is city, C-I-T-Y, and you'll be in the running for the City Tweed Frog or Finish project. Don't forget to check out my Garden Party Tea email that'll be coming in your inbox if you're in the community. If you're not, go down and sign up so that you'll receive it. I hope that you see this before I send that out because then you will be able to receive a special offer code to get any one of my patterns or any several of my patterns off um, the substantial discount code that I send out with every new pattern. So I send it out and y'all can use it on any patterns that you want out of the hundred that are out there. So um, that's one reason to join the community. Otherwise, you're part of the community and so you get to participate in other things that I'm working on or that I send out. I always send it to the community because I know that y'all are serious and you want to be in the community. It costs absolutely nothing. I'm not asking for any money. I do ask that you support my Etsy shop and I ask that you maybe watch the commercials that come on before and after my videos. I do not interrupt my videos with commercials in the middle. I don't like that. So I don't do that to my viewers and subscribers, but I do ask that you subscribe to my channel and you also join the community and those are both completely free. Be sure to click the bell notification too because some people have quit receiving notifications because they may have missed one or two of my videos and then YouTube sometimes will take the notifications off or downgrade them and so you don't really see what I put out. So be sure to, to uh, check that before you click away today. And also one of the main things to do is to like this video. I hope that I've inspired you to add crochet to your wardrobe. I hope that you are inspired to make something new for yourself, make something exciting for yourself, and join me next time to find out what's on the hook.